The Internet is in constant motion. Every day we visit websites to find out how the information has changed. But new information can take us only so far. To better understand where we're going, we need to analyze where we have been. Imagine an Internet not unlike today's. You move through it just as you always have, reading, learning, forgetting what you take in from this flood. Now imagine the flow of information slows down. It stops. What possibilities emerge? What could be done with an Internet that better organized your history? Users travel through the Internet, leaving a data trail in their path. Knowing the context of this data can help us to better understand our browsing habits. Analyzing on-screen text against a thesaurus holds one possibility of determining meaning by providing links between words and concepts. But it can't understand the greater context. One system that has this ability to make logical connections within context is Princeton University's WordNet. The connections between concepts created with the help from a system like WordNet are what Firefox Home tab will take advantage of. To demonstrate our design concepts, let me introduce Catherine. Catherine is a college student. She uses the internet regularly. As she opens Firefox Home tab, she sees stacks of recent activity organized by popularity. Firefox has learned Catherine's behavior and grouped these sites together for her. We can see this view offers activities supporting her normal routines. She can pick up where she left off on any activity without having to remember which site she needs to open. To open all the sites from a stack in tab, she simply clicks on the label. A few days ago, Catherine was looking for pasta recipes, but got sidetracked and couldn't finish. Because this isn't yet a frequent activity, it's not listed in the default view. Catherine has two choices. She can search for a related topic, which will filter only those related stacks for her, or she can go to the history view. Look, there it is. Her activity is grouped as cooking in yesterday's history. Catherine wants to return to this stack often, so she pins it to the site stack, which will then make it available in the stacks area. She also changes the name to the more appropriate recipes, cleans up the sites that she doesn't really care about, and adds a site that she'd also like to include. If stacks help to organize where we're going, bubbles help us to understand where we've been. Catherine also enjoys astronomy. The topic is trending near the top of her popular bubbles. This comes as no surprise to her. The surprise is what emerges within these bubbles. Expanding a set of bubbles reveals a previously unknown level of connectivity and insight into a user's activities. From here, Catherine sees a connection to quantum physics. She suddenly recalls hints of the idea and is curious how quantum physics relates to her current understanding of astronomy. The Firefox Home tab now provides her the ability to expand that understanding by reopening these sites in tabs. Just as Web 2.0 and social media changed how we connect with each other, bubbles and stacks have the potential to change how we learn about ourselves.